Um, good evening, co-president. Uh, my name is Flor Gonzalez. I'm the president of the Latin American Commission. Um, I'm also the chair of the Commission for Claim Care, Commission Advisory for the Hispanic Affair. Um, we, have, we have a lot of questions, but I just want to talk uh, to you too. Number one, the Hispanic community or the Latino community or the immigrant community, it is a community that have contributed big time to this country, not only with money-wise, with business-wise, with education, with the, with the heritage, but also with the votes that bring it to the table. And for many, many, many years, we have been trying to work and to show to American people that we want to be part of, of this country. And throughout my program, we have thousands of people that become citizens, and we send thousands of or millions of dollars to immigration. And, it's, and I don't understand why it's not given the immigration reform that was promised five years ago when the president said that in the first six months of his administration, he will do immigration reform. We still have millions of families, the children that are going to be let down if we do not do no immigration reform. And I believe this country, having so many people here, need to do an immigration reform. You're talking about taxes, you're talking about investment, you're talking about the cities and the states uh, having no money at all. But we allow people that have business that are not even calling for to use the immigrant persons and sell documents that are not supposed to sell just because the, the government of Washington is well, not doing the immigration reform that it been promised. Thank you. Well, I, I certainly appreciate what the immigrant community, uh, Latino and otherwise, contributes to this country. And I would venture to say that uh, almost everyone in this room feels very strongly that the immigrant community contributes a great deal to New Jersey, to the United States, and that should be recognized. And um, there, it, the contributions take many forms, as you said. I mean, it is social and cultural, um, it is family, uh, and it is also economic. And uh, immigrants to the United States, including those who are not documented, what some like to call illegal immigrants, are a net plus to our economy. A net plus to our economy. You'll hear how they're using health care, they're using this, they're taking Social Security. First of all, they don't get Social Security if they're not documented. Um, but they are, on balance, a net plus to our economy. And it would be even better for our economy if they could come out of the shadows and they could uh, earn their way to citizenship. The comprehensive immigration reform, it's true, uh, the president has realized that some of the things he talked about, like health care, turn out to be harder to implement than he thought. Um, both politically and practically, uh, and so too with immigration. Um, we, I still predict, although it's getting later and later, I predict, I've predicted all this year, that the one major piece of legislation that we will get done this year is an immigration reform bill. Uh, a pretty good one. I've kind of given up this year on having a really good one, but a pretty good one that would include a route to citizenship, that would include uh, enhancement of, uh, uh, of our uh, border protection and better record keeping, uh, that would uh, advance family unification, which always has been and should be a principle uh, of our uh, immigration policy. I thought we could get that done this year, and I still think, uh, but I'm not quite as hopeful uh, as I was. Um, and uh, there are, um, well, a number of reasons why we should. Uh, it's the right thing to do, it enriches our country culturally and economically. And you mentioned children, by the way, and of course it's the children that should be foremost uh, in this, uh, which is why, actually there's, there's wide support for the DREAM Act now. Uh, to make that really, really inclusive. So kids 
uh, aren't excluded from the opportunity to get ahead in life and to contribute to our economy because of circumstances beyond their control.